We'll go to the next question. Question, did our church make a mistake leaving the position of Ellen White and the pioneers regarding God of adopting the Catholic position of the Trinity? Absolutely not. The, the, the Trinitarian nature of God is not a Catholic position, okay? If you think it's Catholic, you're misinformed. It's a biblical position, and if you think it's not, you come talk to me afterward and I'll sort you out. The, the really simple question that you have to ask somebody that claims to be a non-Trinitarian, somebody who says, there, there, there's only one God and Jesus is his son and the Holy Spirit's just an effervescent power, you just ask them one question, and this is the question. What is the gospel? That's it. Because in a, in a non-Trinitarian world, in a non-Trinitarian universe, what is the good news? That God sacrificed his son? Let me ask you a question. Is that good news? We just learned yesterday that God said that child sacrifice didn't even come into God's mind. It's so repulsive, so foreign, so alien to him. Friends, the good news of the gospel is not that God gave someone else. It's that God gave himself. Greater love has no man than this, that a man would lay down his life for his friends. In a non-Trinitarian or a Unitarian picture of God, God has sacrificed his son. That's not good news. That's child sacrifice. Question, is the perfect life of Jesus an achievable standard? 